Let's learn how to connect a Shelly Relay to your home Wi-Fi network so that we can configure it for remote control of your devices. I'm going to be doing this on a mobile device, however you can do this on any other device you have like a laptop, tablet, desktop, or any other device that has a Wi-Fi connection and a web browser. Before you can accomplish the steps in this video, you need to make sure you have a properly installed Shelly Relay. Once you have a Shelly Relay installed, we can go ahead and get started. The first step is to open the Wi-Fi settings on your mobile device and look for a Wi-Fi name that has Shelly in the name and a bunch of other characters. Go ahead and connect to that. There won't be a password. Then open the internet browser on your mobile device and in the address bar type in 192.168.33.1. This is the default IP address to connect to the Shelly admin panel. So at this point, we're directly connected to the Shelly relay via a Wi-Fi access point that it creates for itself by default. This means it's not yet connected to our home Wi-Fi network, thus we cannot reach it over the internet. To connect to your home Wi-Fi network, first tap on the internet and security tab. Then expand the Wi-Fi mode client dropdown and enter your Wi-Fi network SSID and password. Finally, press save. The relay will now apply these changes and reboot. Once it's rebooted, it will connect to and be available on your home Wi-Fi network. You can get the IP address of the relay by accessing your router's device list. You can now navigate to that IP address in your web browser to access the Shelly interface. From here, you can control your devices, update firmware, edit settings, monitor power usage, and manage a whole host of other features. I have also integrated my Shelly relays with Apple HomeKit so that I can set up automations and control all of my devices from one place.